Look at that ship skin. It is amazing. It's beautiful. You could say that it's Kraken. Crack Kraken. He's <sighs> Hey peeps, Falcor here. Now I have to apologize up front, I am currently suffering from quite possibly the worst cold I've ever had in my life, so my voice sounds a bit, uh, well, I, I actually, I, I sound like the Kraken, so. <laughs> I've had a few requests from people asking me how to solo the Kraken within the game, so I thought that's a good idea for a video, so let's go straight into it. So you've just finished getting all the loot for that gold hoarders and you're on your way to the outpost when this slimy fella turns up. We've all had this scenario happen and we all press our hands firmly to our heads in a show of appreciation for this wonderful creature. When with a crew the Kraken can be a fun little event to share with friends, but when soloing he can be more than a nuisance. But worry not my dear friends, because the Kraken is not something you should be afraid of, he's simple to avoid and to defeat if you just follow these simple rules. First of all, the Kraken actually has a pattern to when he attacks. There are three big server wide events that occur in a Sea of Thieves, the Skeleton Forts, the Skeleton Ship Fleets and the Kraken. None of these events can overlap with one another, so if you see a ship fleet or a skeleton fort cloud in the sky, you are safe to roam the seas without the worry of Mr. Tentacle Face showing up. However, if there are no server event clouds in the sky, someone on the server is going to get attacked by the Kraken, and with a maximum of 6 ships per server, it's pretty good odds that it's going to be you. So if you have a ship that's full of shiny loot and you're ready to head to an outpost, just give it a little while until you see an event cloud pop up in the sky, then you're good to go. But on the occasion where you find yourself in the Kraken's inky grip and his tentacles begin to blast from the water, the first rule is don't panic. Never panic. Um, unless of course you have a ship pursuing you. Then panic! If you do not wish to engage in the Kraken event, it can simply be avoided by turning your ship 180 degrees and sail out of the ink. When the Kraken ink spawns, your ship will always be on the outer edge of the surface area. So simply turning your ship around means you'll be out of the event within a minute and be waving goodbye to the tentacly grasp. However, if you wish to engage in a fight, you first need to know how to deal with its abilities. Its first ability is a suck ability. Please. No jokes. When this begins to happen, you will be sucked toward the mouth of the Kraken and endure the painful sight of slowly watching your ship sink from a cinematic perspective. To avoid this from happening, the second you see the smoke effect coming from the Kraken tentacle, head below deck and wait there until it has stopped. The second ability is the Tentacle Whip. This can be pretty devastating to your ship, especially if it hits the front end. It can cause up to four holes. Simply board them up as fast as you can and carry on with the encounter. The third and most irritating of its abilities is the Grapple. A tentacle will wrap around your ship and hold it in place, gently squeezing and causing holes. Although this is irritating, it's actually the easiest one to deal with. Instinct will tell you to start attacking the tentacle that has wrapped around your ship and although that works, it takes a fair amount of time to remove it. Instead, look out for the closest tentacle that has emerged from the water. This is the head end of that tentacle wrapping around your ship. A couple of cannonball shots to the face will make it think twice about giving you a hug. In between these attacks, concentrate fire on the base of the protruding tentacles until they do what I like to call the death flap. Don't worry too much about holes in your ship, it's much quicker to just keep bailing water than it is to fix holes. If you have three or more lower deck holes, just fix a couple and continue bailing until the fight is over. After every tentacle kill, loot will spawn, but do not be tempted to go and get it. The black water can damage you over time and it's usually infested with sharks. Eventually, after much tentacle abuse, the remaining tentacles will run away and the ink shall recede. Congratulations, you defeated the Kraken. Do this 10 times and you will receive all commendations for the Kraken Hunter, which means you can sail the sea in pride, showing off your accomplishments with your new cosmetics. I hope that was helpful everyone. If you have any hints to help aid our new players, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you really enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And hell, click the bell so you're always informed of CFE's news updates and other general random 
random guff that I might upload. Until next time, everybody, happy sailing. Bye-bye.